Hello YouTube, this is Ian559 Fresno, and today I'm going to teach you how to fix your iPhone 3GS, which is stuck in recovery mode. Uh, if you restored into iTunes and you got error 1015, like I got, and your phone was working fine before this all happened, your phone is stuck on this screen, you were probably unlocked, um, then this video is for you. If you drop your phone in the water, then this is not for you. Also, you might be getting this message iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode, blah blah blah. Um, let's get started. You need to download two files. One is called ZLib1 and the other is called Fix Recovery. I'm going to link those in the description. Download them and then you're going to need to extract them to your desktop. First thing, open up Fix Recovery. Once it's downloaded, You'll see two files, Fix Recovery 43 and Fix Recovery 421. Extract 400, extract 43 by dragging it out to the desktop. Should be done soon. Next thing you need to do is extract zlib.dll. Forget about the readme. Now that you've done that and they're in the same location, these two files must be in the same location. I repeat. Also, I'd like to start off by saying this video is only for the iPhone 3GS. If you're not sure if you have a 3GS or not, look at my other video to tell how to find out how to tell. Okay, so now that it's extracted, you're going to right click on Fix Recovery if you're running Windows 7 or Vista. Right click and then click Properties. You will see Security. This file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. Click Unblock. Now, go to Compatibility, run it in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2, have that checked, and then check Run as an Administrator, click Apply, click OK. Now that that's done, open up Fix Recovery. Yes. Okay, you're going to see this process, iTunes.exe was not found. Blah blah blah, don't worry about that error. Uh, we're, we're focusing on is that last part. We're waiting for a device to enter DFU mode. I apologize for the bad video quality. My other camera isn't working. This is just uh, one of my digital cameras. But it should get the job done. Okay, right now we're going to get the device into DFU mode. I'm going to tell you what to do right now and then I'm going to go along with the steps. Uh, as the video progresses, this is just going to give you a heads up right now. What you're going to do right now, your device, plug it in to your computer with the USB cable. Make sure it's plugged in. Next step is... Okay, by the way, I'd just like to start off because on my last video I was getting a lot of comments. I guess people don't know the difference between this connect to iTunes screen and the other one. If there's a slider here, your phone isn't bricked. Just put an AT&T SIM in it, open up iTunes, and it will... Uh, get rid of all this. You won't have to go through all the hassle of doing this uh, stuff that we're doing right now. If you have no slider, you're bricked and we're going to fix it. Okay, anyways, um, to get started, you're going to hold the home button right here and the power button right here. At the same time, the phone will power off. So right when it's powered off, this is when the DF, putting your phone into DFU mode begins. I'm going to start by holding this button until the phone powers on. As soon as it powers on, hold both these buttons, the home and the power. The home and the power. Then, when the phone powers off again, you're going to release this power button, but continue holding the home button. It's fairly simple, so let's begin. We're going to start off by holding both the home and the power at the same time. Release. Now we're just going to hold the power button quickly. Now hold both the home and the power. Don't worry. Keep holding both buttons. Now release. You might see a little light screen, uh, what do you call it, or uh, disorientation. Don't worry, it's normal. Release this button, but continue holding that. Once that happens, you will see all this writing. That means you're done. You can let go. Your device will power on by itself.
don't worry about this stuff right here right here just leave it don't delete it you're gonna just basically uh, let it do its thing fix up your iPhone by itself uh, no need to touch your device at all you can let that delete that stuff after it's uh, finished okay it'll exit by itself your device will look like this unable to find all this stuff and then I'll say green poison initialized and you'll see all this writing give it some time it's uh, running green poison to fix your device Don't worry, it didn't freeze. Also, even though it exited, do not disconnect. Trust me, you just don't try to make more problems for yourself. You might be low on battery, you don't know. There's no battery icon right now, so keep it plugged in. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay, powered off by itself. Now it's going to power on again. And give it some time. Okay, see that? It's gonna actually go fairly quickly, maybe one second, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, oh, oh, three seconds, I guess. After it starts moving. Okay, now you're gonna see the Apple logo and this screen. See, this is now not bricked anymore. This is the emergency call screen. Okay, next step is just to unplug your device. Make sure you have a SIM card inserted, AT&T only. If you don't have one, borrow one from a friend or something. I'm not sure of a deactivate method. I'll look into that in a future video. Maybe Snow Breeze will fix that. You should see a little signal right here. It doesn't matter if you don't see AT&T. Just uh, plug your phone into the computer. I'm going to just cover up my phone number so I don't get a billion phone calls. Um, if you need help, just ask me via YouTube. Um, try not to private message that much, though. Um, I prefer you post whatever help you need on the video so I don't have to answer uh, the same question like a billion times. And also, maybe someone else can help you out as well. Okay, if iTunes didn't open up by itself, just go open up iTunes manually by double-clicking. And you will see this, and it'll be loading. Let's give it some time, and the iPhone will pop up. Okay. Right now, it'll say this computer has been previously synced, whatever. That's okay. Let's click continue. It'll say restoring from backup. I guess I click restoring from backup. Okay, so if you're restoring from a backup, it shouldn't take too long unless you have a lot of apps. Say the settings uh, for your iPhone have been restored, please re leave your iPhone connected. So leave it connected. should see a little spinning thing, it's going to do that one more time, that's just restoring all my settings. Okay, it's a sync in progress, I'm just going to cancel it. Okay, none of my stuff is on this, so as you can tell, my iPhone has been fixed. And we'll go to settings, oh, let me just cover up my serial number. Okay, as you can tell right now, here let me exit iTunes, we don't need it anymore. Okay, see as you can tell I'm on version 4.3.1 and I'm going to scroll down and show you my modem firmware.
guess it's not focusing, but um, should say 6.15.00 right here. Uh, it's not focusing on my phone right now. There you go, see 6.15.00. That, that's the iPad baseband. Currently it is unlockable, but the bad thing is you're on 4.3 and the jailbreak is currently tethered. What that means is every time you power off your device, you're going to have to run uh, software to get it back up. Or so it'll be stuck on the Apple logo. Um, but right now, your device is fixed, and you could probably sell it on eBay for more now. Uh, if I sent you a message through eBay, um, please consider, um, please comment, rate, subscribe. That would really help me out so more people can see this video. Um, feel free to check out my other videos. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. I'll be glad to take a look into that. Um, yeah, I was getting a lot of messages about someone linking this through uh, an eBay account. That is me. So, um, no one's, like, taking credit for these videos. Uh, besides me. Hope you like this, so please remember to click that like button, so I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe so you can see what new videos I update, and maybe in the future you'll need some help again. Uh, thank you.